Hi everyone, this is Dr. Victoria Scarbo speaking to you from the Caesar Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. I'm here with Charlie. There's Charlie looking out the window. And uh, we're here to talk about the astrology of Wednesday, April 10th. Today the moon is in uh, Gemini for most of the day. It does move into Cancer, but that occurs pretty late, 11.32 p.m. on the east coast of the U.S. So it's a Gemini moon today. Um, <clears throat> you know, it's funny because it seems like um, the way the astrological weather has been lately, it's sort of like a lot of stuff happens, big stuff all at once, same day, and then we sort of, uh, I wouldn't call it coast, <laughs> because it hasn't been like that. It's been kind of like trudging for some of us, coasting for some of us, uh, skipping, jumping, avoiding um it reminds me of that commercial, uh, is it a commercial or video, where the little kid uh, jumps from the couch to the ottoman, and in his imagination, he's jumping over lava fields. Um, that's kind of how it's been feeling <laughs> of late. Um, even though there's not so, uh, necessarily a lot happening in a day, uh, astrologically, but today is different. There's a lot of stuff happening, and most of it actually happens pretty early in the morning, but I will describe, but you know, the energy is with this all day. And so the first thing that occurs is a conjunction between Venus and Neptune. And that occurs in Pisces, of course, because Neptune is in Pisces for 14 years. And um, actually Mercury is starting to move away from uh, Neptune as it starts to move faster and faster, uh, going direct. Of course, it's, we still have the influence of Mercury and Pisces, but now Venus is conjunct Pisces. And uh, Venus conjunct, Venus conjunct Pisces, Venus conjunct Neptune. Uh, whereas Neptune, uh, whereas, I'm sorry, whereas, uh, um, excuse me, my, my mind is working a lot faster than my mouth. While Mercury conjunct Neptune is very challenging for those who uh, like things like logic. For those of us who have um, aspects to Mercury and Neptune. I myself, I have a trine in my chart. So my, the way I take in information is, um, a pretty similar to the way the information has, we've had to take in information over the last, uh, few weeks, it seems. Um, so for people who have Neptune, Mercury, uh, connections or have Mercury in Pisces or Mercury in the 12th house, th these last few weeks haven't been as hard as it has been for other people when it came to Mercury. But now with Venus conjunct Mercury, uh, uh, Venus conjunct Neptune, Venus is the planet of love. Neptune is the higher octave of Venus. And so Venus and Neptune really sort of get along very well. And what Venus does uh, what Neptune does to Venus is it brings sort of a magical quality, an imaginative quality. Now, of course, we can imagine all kinds of romantic things that don't pan out um, because it's our imagination, and we often tend to pick people who are teaching us lessons, not necessarily trying to, you know, fulfill our fantasies of what um, what romance and love is. But it does, in a way, bring our sense of love and connectedness to a higher level. So that is important. So that's happening. Um, at the same time where we have this mystical, magical connection, we have a very sort of um, uh, feet on the ground, what are you doing, uh, bite of reality with the sun making a square to Saturn. Of course, Saturn is in Capricorn. The sun is in Aries. This is a first quarter crisis in action square. And so we're illuminated to some of the actions that we need to take in order to build our own sense of self-worth, self-esteem, and self-reliance. Also, um, all of those things are necessary to be authorities in your own life. It's about taking responsibility for yourself. So what actions do you need to take in your life where you perhaps haven't been necessarily responsible with your actions. So this is a day where that is illuminated for you. Uh, we also have Jupiter stationing retrograde today. Jupiter has been in Sagittarius. Jupiter is very powerful in Sagittarius. Uh, it's very um, convinced of its own opinion in Sagittarius. And so we have been sort of fording forward um, 
you know, it's, it's, there's this like, you know, on a, on a, on a shiny steed kind of energy to this. And now as it moves retrograde, as it, as it, as it uh, sort of slows down to a stop and then starts moving retrograde, we have to review our belief system. So are there still belief systems that vibe? We keep those. If there are belief systems that no longer serve, it's about releasing them. So we're, we're a little bit more open to other points of view, in fact, when, uh, when Jupiter is retrograde. We have an opportunity to review what we believe and uh, if it's really still working for us. So there's that. And then lastly, <laughs> if that's not enough, um, we have a sextile between Mercury and Pluto. Now Mercury, of course, is still in um, Pisces, so we still have that sort of Piscean uh, boundarylessness to our Neptune. Um, but as it sextiles Pluto, Pluto is the planet of transformation. And of course, Mercury is the way we think, and this is an opportunity to sort of both communicate with our own souls, but also sort of mold and change and shift uh, our ideas about things on a certain level, making them more real because we're dealing with Capricorn, Pluto's in Capricorn, but it's not just about making them more real. It's about really making them a little bit more in align with our own soul. So like I said, there's a lot going on today. Now Charlie wants to get down. Go ahead, Charlie. Go ahead. Sorry about that. What Charlie wants, Charlie gets. Anyway, um, so a lot of stuff going on today. Oops, that's Charlie. <laughs> um, so, oops, sorry, you can't see me now. All right, so uh, have a great day. Like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.